False accusations about me are common, um, usually by our local news, San Angel Live specifically. Then there's the haters that yell out the window all kinds of stuff at me in traffic or when I'm parked somewhere. Then we got the ones that call in false reports. And since I've been driving this thing, I've been getting quite a few of them. But I got the recording to dispatch on this one that happened Saturday night. I was accused of impersonating a police officer, pulling people over, which is BS. I'm not sure what the reporting caller was trying to accomplish here. I'm assuming to get me roughed up by the police or something and for anybody else that thinks about making a false report or calling in one it's they're not going to come swooping in like rambo and jump all over me they've made that mistake before and they've been stuck with me ever since and they're not going to do anything that's going to make it worse for them but here's the call to dispatch the audio and all that great at first but it clears up after a minute <laughs> Yes, I'm not a question. This is not an emergency, right? Right. Okay, well, I have a car pulling people over with flashing lights. Yeah, light flashing. Red lights at the top, and it says the people on the side of me have no license plates or nothing. What does it say on the side? We help the people. Another thing is, all these false reports on me, the details are always wrong. I don't get that. And he drives a Tahoe just like y'all. Okay. And he's pulling people so over? Now he is on Taylor Street heading towards Avenue N. And when I say heading towards Avenue N, he is flying. Now. He turns on to Avenue W. Okay. He's going to the circle. He's stuck at the wash spot now. And, and he said he's trying to pull people he's over. At the wash spot. He looks just like a, a cop. He is. The whole car's shooting out the cop. A, it's on the back, it's white, and it says, we help the people. Okay, I, I need you to confirm that. Did you say that they were trying to pull people over? Yeah, they pulled over a car earlier, and then they pulled him over and then they stopped. Okay. And I went around him like he was a an officer. I know what vehicle they were driving, and not at any point were they in front of me. And I turned into the wash pot car wash because I was wondering why they were following me. Well, he's doing circles over there. I drove past him. I'm not saying it's hurt any conflict. There's a cop right next to me at uh, uh, Street. Okay, okay. And he is at the squash spot. Okay, so y'all are, are right in the area of like, like Avenue N and like um, South Johnson? Um... Fillmore, maybe? Fillmore? Okay. Yeah, he, okay. he just called at and took off. I don't know if it's you. Okay, you didn't see what direction it went? No, ma'am. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I think I think those officers that you saw were on a different call. Um, so they're they're probably on the way there. Um, okay, I'll see him. He's on Avenue N right now going going towards Parrothead. Toward Parrothead? Yes, ma'am. He just turns right now. He is parking in the parking lot at Domino's. Parking at Domino's? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. There's, there's actually cops there at that parking lot. There are three officers at that parking lot. I guess that's another call. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll let them know. Um, see if they, they can check out with him real quick and kind of go from there. Are you comfortable speaking with them? No, I don't want to. Okay. 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 I don't. It's not my business. But did y'all hear that? I didn't catch everything she said, but she says it's none of her business. But of course, she doesn't want to speak with the police. Yet she's calling in false reports. Can I go, can I go from there? Are you comfortable speaking with them? No, I don't want to. Okay. 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 I don't. It's not my business. But she says it's none of her business. Yet she's calling in false reports. Can I go from there? Are you comfortable speaking with them? No, I don't want to. Okay. 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 I don't. It's not my business. But it's kind of weird that someone turns on lights, pulls someone all the way over, yeah, no, and drives off. 
but doesn't have you know, no license plate on the back, nothing. You can just say it. Okay. You can't identify the vehicle. Okay. All right. I, I understand. We, we've got Legally, this form. Let them know, okay? Legally, if you don't have a license plate, you're on that vehicle. Yeah. You're not going to sell any cars. Yeah, no, I understand. And all of, all of the units that I'm aware of in our area should for sure have some sort of license plate on it. They're so. in the Domino's parking lot. Okay. Okay. I guess that is awkward. It's weird. Yeah, no, I understand. All right. Thank you for calling. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Now, this part is where I'm in Domino's parking lot and I'm recording whatever's going on with the police that are there. And Officer Tomlinson walks up to me to let me know that they got a call in about me trying to pull people over. I know you're filming and you're good to do that. Um, I just wanted to let you know there was another call for service. Um, something about your Tahoe and trying to pull somebody over. Um, I, I don't think you're somebody to do something like that. That'd be kind of a goofy move, but um, I just wanted to... I bet you I know who it was because they were actually chasing me around. Oh, okay. And, uh, I ended up going in circles right over here and pulling into that that car wash over there, but uh, I don't know why they'd say that. But I don't, I'm just trying to start some crap for me, I guess. I guess. But, yeah, like I said, I don't think you'd be somebody to do something like that. Um, you never have before, so. Oh, no. Uh, I don't even know how to, after unhooking all the lights on that thing, I don't <laughs> even know how to hook them back up. <laughs> it's probably a pain. Yeah. Just from seeing the I mean, wiring. I actually stuff. actually unhooked each and every LED and on the light bar and everything, so gotcha. uh, it takes couple right. hours. <laughs> well, I just wanted to get that call over and handled with, so. Oh, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. I still have false reports that get called in on me, and I don't understand why. But it would be nice to see uh, SAPD start taking some of these false reports seriously and charging people. Maybe it'll stop after that. But it, they happen all the time, from what I understand. Um, I don't know what the contents of the false reports are when they do come in. But between false reports being made on me to... People yelling out their window in traffic or when they see me parked somewhere yelling, you're not a cop or some something similar to that. And I just want to say, I know I'm not a cop. I ain't trying to be a cop. I don't want to be a cop. I've got too much integrity to be a cop. And I know that's going to ruffle some feathers out there but about the integrity thing. But what I mean by that is if I was a cop, I would be known as the tattletale. I see something that shouldn't have happened, I'm going to say something about it. I'd get ran off from the department very quickly if I decided to try being a cop. If I were to be a, try to be a cop, I would go straight to the top. I'd run for chief of police when the ele election came up. I wouldn't just be a regular officer. Because being chief of police, that's where I could make some real change and get some of the POS out of the department. But yeah, I know, I'm sure a lot of y'all are kind of confused about um election for chief of police could probably something you haven't really heard of and this is a kind of a weird crazy fact but san angelo is the only city in the state of texas that still elects the chief of police they've asked the public about it if they wanted to keep it like that or start letting the chief of police be appointed but the public every, every time they brought it up the public wants to keep electing them and i don't blame them because why would you want a city manager, which we didn't elect, we elect a mayor, the mayor appoints a city manager. Why would we want an appointed public official to appoint another public official when we can just vote for that public official? I think we should be able to vote for city manager too. But people that are making the false reports, making yourself look stupid. The people yelling this stuff out the windows, saying you're not a cop, that makes you look stupid too. Obviously, I don't think I'm a cop. When I have the, the flag that's back behind me now, I've got that flag in four different spots on my vehicle. And you're accusing me of trying to act like I'm a cop. Stupid.